Hey y'all. So we are going to talk to you about what we're loving recently. Um, we just have like a bunch of random things that we've kind of like been trying out to see if they taste good. And we're going to show you some of them. Okay. I was grabbing my boxes. You want to go first? Did you like 20? Sure. I have more things that I love. So, I love meat. So for me, you love what? Meat, bacon, oh, hamburger. I thought you said me. I mean, I do that too. I love. I'm a cool guy. I love me. Are you keto though? Yeah. As Terrell Owens once said, "I love me some me." What? What does that even mean? It means I'm confident of myself. Anyway, so the first snack that we are loving is um, Dang, their new peanut butter flavor. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can see it. How do you know? Because I could see it in the reflection. Oh my god, their new peanut butter flavor. Um, I we got one to try in a keto box, mm -hmm. and I tried it. I ate it at work. Um, and what's that? That's that. I ate one. Oh, <laughs> I heard it at work, and y'all, it was so freaking good. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, and I couldn't quite rem like tell like what it reminded me of. But then um, I gave one to James, and he said it tastes like the peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yes, it does. So, yeah, I think this is the first thing that I've ever actually gone ahead and ordered after eating it from a keto box. But I ordered a 12 pack, so. <laughs> and I actually went on subscribe and save. So I have another 12 pack coming in like a month. Um, they're really that good, y'all. And yeah. they, I'm trying to, it's five net carbs for a peanut butter cookie bar, really. Like, they're delicious. Yeah, the other dang bars, I'm not a fan of really, the ones I've tried. But that one in particular is really good. I like the other bars, but not enough that I need a 12 pack coming to my house every month. Okay. This one, Yes. Yes. I mean, like, dang, right? <laughs> wow. So I got this Magic Spoon cereal. Tech, I got a whole box set bought for me back in October. And for some reason, I kept forgetting that um, almond milk is milk. And so I kept forgetting and remembering. So I have been, these four boxes of cereal have lasted about four months and I just finally rediscovered that we have milk again and I've ate this for the first time this last week and this is my favorite flavor of all of them. This one's really good. What Three flavor is it? Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is the brand. It's the frosted <laughs> flavor. I forgot. It's three net carbs. It tastes really good. I, um, I can't remember the smell. It reminds me of um, almost like um. Oh, that's right. Really good. Oh, it kind of smells like marshmallows. No, that's bad. Terrible observation. How are you going to tell me what it smells like to me? That's a terrible observation. It smells, it tastes more like um, honey bunches of oats, but all mixed into one cereal. So it's kind of really good. Not kind of, it's just really good. And I really enjoy it. Mm. It's one of the few that I've eaten that I don't get this terrible aftertaste. It's like a lightly sweet. Yeah. So it's not overbearing, and you don't get that really bad um, fake sugar aftertaste on it. So I really enjoy this one. So if I were to buy more Magic Spoons, i get this flavor for real. The other ones, I'm not quite as fan of because you always get that weird aftertaste, or they're really rock hard and hard to chew. But that rock hardness could be because I've eaten them about four months after the time I was supposed to eat them. So I don't know. But of those, this one's still maintained to be fresh, and the flavor is great. <laughs> Um, another bar thingy. Hey, hold it up there, you're holding up there. Ha! Huh. Oh, you're, you're doing a great job. Oh yeah, see that? Anyway, another bar thingy. That one came in the keto box as well. Um, it was the Adonis bar. I think if you go a couple videos back, you'll see us fighting over who was going to get this bar because he <laughs> thinks he's an Adonis. Um, this was the coconut, vanilla, and 
acai berry. It was really good. And one thing I will say about this is um, it was not hard. So like most bars that you can eat are like hard or crunchy. This one was like soft and it was like, you know, I could take a bite and it would crumble to pieces everywhere. Um, but it was really good. And I might actually order this one too. But I don't want to over bar it. You don't remember if you ordered it? Or no, I said I might want to. Oh. I'm not gonna, I don't want to like order a ton of bars and just like have 85,000 bars in the house. But that one was really good. I saved the wrapper mm. so I could tell you guys about it. Cool. You? I didn't next, grab that, Donis. Oh. The next. Oh, my bad. So another one we got, I do not have the wrapper for, but we'll show a picture right about now. It's a slim fast squeezable fat bomb. Um, not usually into fat bombs, but this particular one, when you um, squeeze it into your mouth, it comes out as a nice um, consistent, kind of like um, almost like a uh, shake kind of consistency. And I had a particular cream soda and I'm not usually into cream soda, but this one wasn't bad. And the texture for me was really, really good. And the satisfaction it gave my hunger was incredible because I ate it at like nine o'clock because I had to go to work and I didn't have time for breakfast. And it, I was fully satisfied for the two, about two o'clock. And usually for me, about two or three hours after breakfast, I'm like ready to go again. So I was extremely excited for that. Um, they have other flavors. Um, I don't remember all of them, but I know Sabrina really likes cream soda flavor. So she would really like the flavor itself. I was just really excited about the texture and the fact that it just tasted good. And it was very um, efficient in terms of not, uh, removing my hunger. Okay. Speaking of, we don't have the wrapper for it anymore. Um, I ate from, again, from the keto box. Um, I ate the field trip pork rinds. I mm. forgot. I think they're called like tender cuts or something. The, here's a picture. Um, <laughs> These were so freaking good, y'all. The like Parmesan flavor, Parmesan peppercorn. Yo, like I've never had a pork rind taste this good before in my life. It was so good. I like you got like the peppercorn, but then you got the Parmesan, like the Parmesan actually came through and they were like nicely fried up, like were crisp and they weren't oily like some some pork rinds are. They were just genuinely delicious. Um I like the field trip brand. Their beef jerky I used to eat all the time. So uh, I'm glad that they make those. I did try to order those, but they were out of stock. Um, and I don't know where to find them out in the wild. So I don't have any more, but rest, trust and believe there will be more field trip pork rinds in this house. And one more I can think of, one more that I can think of that I really like was um, the, I don't even know what brand it is, but the sugar-free ring. Candy. Oh, Smart Sweets. Smart Sweets. So I was craving some sweets last night. I was getting cranky and my wife recognized that. And so she went and brought me this bag of candy that she's been hiding in the closet that, you know, just missing impossible. It's in the cabinet. Anyways, she brought it out, gave it to me, and it was freaking delicious. It was probably one of the best sugar-free candies I've had and I want to buy some more. I was on Amazon and it was like $11 by subscription for one every two months. And I'm being exaggeratory. I'm not sure if that's in a word or not, but I'm exaggerating. But it was expensive, so we did not buy some more. But you can get them at GNC. And so for us, we love to go to movies and we love to buy snacks. And since we can't really do that anymore, I think that's going to be a good snack food for the movies. And I just got to highly recommend that as a quick snack for something if you crave and something sweet. Yeah, I've had their gummy bears before, the, the regular ones and the sour ones, which mm -hmm. they're good. Um, but the peach rings, out of this world. Yeah. Uh, they weren't hiding. They were just in the cabinet. They were not next seen. Next to anymore. the rest of the food. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. But... Okay. Okay. Um, back to products we actually have here in real life. So this is high key granola. Um, it's the, what flavor is that? Turmeric and color? <laughs> it's cinnamon almond flavor. Uh -huh. Um, so for a quarter of a cup, it is two grams of net carbs. And honestly, you guys they, though. They did the math for you. I know. I was reading it. <laughs> no, it's funny. 
Like someone can't physically subtract? Maybe funny. they don't know how to do that. Not everybody's a freaking professional like you. Maybe they don't know that those are the things you subtract. So they just do diets and they don't know? Sometimes, yeah. Why? Because not everybody likes to research. Okay, fair enough. That's Go why ahead. keto has a bad rap. Anyway. Hmm. Um, the ingredients in this... Almonds, erythritol, stevia, of course, monk fruit, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, golden flax seeds, and coconut oil. I mean, there's chia seeds, turmeric, cinnamon, salt, and collagen. That, like, I would eat all of that. Um, you know, here's the thing. I have mad love for Sola. Like, I love their bread. I love their, I do. I love their sweet, or yeah, I love their bread. I love their uh, granola, but they do use soy crisps, and soy is not really the best thing, um, especially for women. So, you know. I just find it funny that you replaced the bread and now you replaced the granola. Uh, no, so I still, be I'm left. not gonna, I'm still gonna eat Sola, but because Haiki was expensive. Now, let me tell you a thing about Haiki. I was scrolling on Facebook and it had one of those little ads that was like, be part of our product testers or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. So I clicked on it and they honestly were just like, do you have Amazon Prime? And then they were like, do you have uh, PayPal? I was like, Mm -hmm. So they had me buy it on Amazon and they reimbursed me for it um, and they want me to leave a genuine review on Amazon not like not like oh we're gonna reimburse you for it if you give us five stars like they want just a genuine review but the honest truth is my review is that it's five stars like it was that freaking good um, mm -hmm. it's delicious I think you had a handful of it this morning just by itself, right? Mm -hmm. I put mine in some Oikos Triple Zero yogurt yesterday. Out of this world. Like, it's mm -hmm. delicious. And it's, you know, it's clean. Like, it's really good. It's a little pricey, which is the reason why Solo will never go away completely. Because Solo is is about half, a little, a little bit more than half the price of this. Um, but it's so worth it. Um, in general, that retails 15 this was twelve ninety eight on Amazon. And solo is usually. I think I get solo like two for eight. So about four dollars. No, it's six ninety nine. That's what it is. I get six ninety nine for their granola, and this is twelve. So it's yeah, it's about, it's about half. Um, but you gotta have the soy crisps in it, and this is literally just seeds. So you know, I'm probably gonna have both in my life, but high key granola. I high key recommend this stuff. <laughs> um, it is really good. If I didn't know any better, I would have sworn they soaked that thing in like sugar water. Because I had me a handful and it was like literally like eating um, some granola plain. with honey on it. It was so good. Now I really like sweets, so for me that was like off the chain good. Oh, it smells so nice and cinnamony when you open the bag. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Oh my god, yeah. right? I, so mine obviously was diluted a little bit by the yogurt. Oh. Sleep is a snack by itself. This could be a good cereal. I about to say that, yeah, just add milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is really good. Get you yeah. some of this, y'all. I think that probably rivals my cereal I have. Mm. But the price of this one's a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is so good. Oh my god. Yes, I, I don't like. I don't even know how to say more about this because it is that delicious. Um. I'll definitely be buying this again. Uh, I've got to go leave them with a review. And none of this is sponsored, by the way. This is just stuff that we like to eat. Mm -hmm. That we found that we like to eat. Though I'm not against sponsorship. Got to pay the bill somehow. <laughs> <laughs> got to pay that YouTube bill. <laughs> pay for all this equipment. I mean, that's true. So, the last thing, unless there's anything else you wanted to add... No, I mentioned my fruit rings. Okay. So the last thing that we have that we love, um, well, I love it more than him, but I still love it. Um, talked about it when it came in, is my um, Zevia Kids. Um, and there's four different flavors. I got the variety pack. And I'm trying to decide which flavor is my favorite flavor. Have you tried all of them? Mm -hmm. Have you tried all four of them? I've tried all of them. I'm trying to decide which is my favorite flavor. There's an orange cream, there's fizzy apple, 
There is fruit punch and whoa, strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Um, I don't. Maybe we should just taste test them right now. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do that in a minute. We're gonna go off and just do a taste test for all the flavors. That's a good idea. And we can rank them. Mm. But they're good, and I really recommend them, um, especially if you have kids. If you have young kids. Uh, before they start getting into soda, because it is slightly fizzy, so before they start getting into soda, soda, get them hooked on the Zevia Kids. Um, it is a seven and a half ounce can, so it's not a full size can, so it is kid size, but it's really good for adults. And I like to have it in the afternoon, like with the like a little afternoon snack. I'll have like cucumbers and tzatziki sauce, and I'll have a Zevia Kids with it. Um, it's a so good option if you want like a fruit drink. And now a cola version because most of the Zevias are like colas or ginger ales or like soda knockoffs. Mm -hmm. And this is not a soda knockoff, it's more like a fruit juice, Hawaiian punch kind of knockoff. And so if you're looking more for the Hawaiian punch juice kind of mode, Zevia Kids is the way to go. Yeah, do it. Um, so yeah, great, great, great finds. Um, most of them I found on either Amazon or in the keto box. Um, Actually paying off. Except for Heike, which I found on Facebook. Um, so. <laughs> Um, yes, highly recommend all this stuff, but let's go taste the Zevia Kids and rank them. Sure, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we have poured up our Zevia Kids and now we're gonna try it and we're gonna rank it. Um, so there are four flavors. There's um, Fizzy Apple, Fruit Punch, Orange Cream, and Strawberry Lemonade. So we're each gonna try it and then we're each gonna rank one through four, like one being the best, four being the worst, what we think of that flavor. All right, you ready? All right, so which one are we going to try first? You pick. I'll pick the one I know I'm gonna rate the lowest. How do you know you're gonna rate it the lowest? I mean, I'm already biased. I don't like cream soda. But you ate that fat bomb, which was cream soda flavored. And what did I tell you? You said it was good. I said the texture was great. You said it was good. It worked. You said it was good. I said the flavor wasn't good. You said best. it was good. I'm not a fan of cream. So let's do... Orange cream. Orange cream. Mmm. Okay. That's amazing. You do that, but you know, in a couple of years, you're gonna start drinking them all the time and be like, oh my God, I love the flavor of orange cream. You know, that might be true, but at this point in time with my life, it's as bad as unsweet tea used to be. Whatever. Wow. All right, you orange cream. Tell. Let's go strawberry lemonade. All right. It smells good. Um, it doesn't taste like strawberries or lemonade. It just kind of tastes like... It tastes like your fruit, um, the fruit cereal, vodka, without the vodka. Oh, um, what's it called? Three Olives Loopy? Yeah. Mmm. Which is disappointing because if it's going to taste like the vodka drink, you should at least have the benefit of the vodka. I can see that. It does, mm. It's a kid's drink, so I guess they can't. <sighs> Still better than cream soda, even if it doesn't taste like much. Uh, no. Strawberry lemonade is in last place. Eh, definitely not first place. We know which one's last. Strawberry lemonade. Um, fruit punch. Alright. Bottoms up. It smells like fruit punch. It does smell like fruit punch. But is fruit punch a real thing? Yeah. Hawaiian fruit punch. So this tastes like um, Tahitian Sun. Have you had that? Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's like almost fruit punch, but not, or almost Hawaiian punch, but not quite. Yeah, it tastes like, like diluted Hawaiian punch. Yeah, it's a, I think it's called Tahitian Sun. Like, mmm. Tahitian something. Yeah. Better than the last first two. Definitely better first two. I think so far orange cream is better. Orange Ugh. cream was not good. <sighs> You're such a hater. All right, this leaves fizzy apple. Fizzy apple. Cheers. Do love you. 
Smells like candy. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher. So I read when I read the Amazon reviews on these, people said that the fizzy apple tastes like um what did they say? They're like it tastes the green Jolly Rancher. No, that's not what they said. Well that's what they should have said. They said it tastes like if LaCroix made an apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? Because it almost tastes like apple. It tastes like essence of apple, but it's a little bit sweet. Okay. So we have our rankings. So this bottom line, the line that's closest, where, where are we? This line, that line right there, that's James, and that's Sabrina up there. So we have a clear winner, and it is Fizzy Apple. This is everybody's favorite. I think by and far, it's like the best like flavor balance. Um, to fizziness it's like almost a LaCroix but not quite like a sweet drink so that one was the best and we literally agree on nothing else <laughs> so what do you have for number two I have fruit punch and then you have that crappy cream stuff orange cream is delicious well I think that's the main difference if you like cream I'm pretty sure that would rank well because it tastes exactly like orange cream. So if you like cream, you're going to rank it high. I kind of want to freeze it and see if it'll make a good popsicle. <laughs> Those are even terrible too. Cream soda, anything, it's terrible. How are we married? I feel the same way about pasta in you. What? You don't like pasta. So? So I'm part Italian. Oh, um, no you're not. You don't know. You don't either. I'm going to find out soon. <laughs> So in third place, James has strawberry lemonade, mm -hmm. which I think was disgusting. And I had tropical punch. To me, this one just tasted like nothing. It smelled like strawberry lemonade, but there was like no real taste to it. It, it just was gross to me. Mm -hmm. Tropical punch and orange cream were actually a really close tie for me. I just went with orange cream because it tastes exactly like orange cream. And tropical punch was like, almost tropical punch almost hawaiian punch um but they were both delicious and then i can't it doesn't turn Rotate the feet in last place um we got the awful orange cream and sabrina chose strawberry lemonade yeah well mark mark so we have very different opinions of the orange cream. <laughs> well, like I said, you know, I just don't like orange cream. I really, really don't like it. So if you do like orange cream, it tastes exactly like orange cream. So it's not a bad option if you like orange cream. And it'd be up there if I did. I just think it's trash. You're trash. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you orange cream. All right, so those were our evaluations. I hope you completely agree with me because orange cream is trash. Like awesome. and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eating Our Asses Off today. And have a wonderful day.